cusps to your monthly chakra reading. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe and welcome, welcome everyone. Um, this is for Taurus Gemini cusp, Capricorn Aquarius cusp, and Virgo Libra cusp. Okay, Let's see what's going on with you. Getting straight into this, this is an energy reading. I do many energy readings. This is where we take the energy that is the same and bring them out, right? We all learn together. Okay, here we go. Gratitude. Having a little gratitude. Talking about that third eye chakra, about that gratitude. Especially if you guys are manifesting. It's always a wonderful thing, right? Um, this is where you are capable of more than mere mortal conversation. This is a time of enlightenment communication, and you will raise the consciousness of others. You are stepping into your self-mastery, the gifts you see in others already live within you. Mm, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so this card, this card is actually asking you, who is this person I admire the most? Why? How can I live at their level, at that level? Friendship, deep love, pregnancy, nurturing, unconditional love towards yourself and others. Having the appreciation and the recognition and the esteem, right, for what it is you have. Okay. Nice. And for others as well, appreciating others, but also appreciating what it is I have, right? Okay. So we have, first card coming out is soul healing. Okay. So this card here with the soul healing is letting you know that this is a soul star chakra located six inches above the uh excuse me crown chakra going straight into the heavens this is where the spirit world is this is where spirit contacts you through your higher self right which is your crown chakra so this is where the spirit comes through okay so this card is talking about the all powerful conscious aspects of your being and currently undergoing any kind of healing process this awakening can sometimes stir things up in your life and it creates the change required to expand the higher state of awareness. You are undergoing a rite of passage where the things that are not working in your life are being reviewed. Know that this chaos is a positive thing. It is what is required at this time. There is a divine order to this chaos and you are being asked to trust, listen, and take action through loving guidance from your soul. Okay, because your soul holds the medicine for you to heal and knows what is best for you. It is time to, to do a deep cleansing and you are encouraged to let go of anything old as you make way for the new. And this is true because there's chaos before what? Order. So before you can have order, you have to have chaos. So you have to be, there's a lot of gratitude that's coming towards this. You want to make sure that you're being, you know, asking the universe, um, you know, for this healing being very grateful for this healing and for this chaos because you can't like i said you cannot have order until there is chaos because there has to be a cleansing going on so the gratitude really in this card is really talking about the soul healing the releasing the cleansing of old energy right and making sure that you understand the gratitude because yeah you know what my life is chaos my life seems this way but you can't have the new without cleansing the old so make sure that you're giving a lot of gratitude even to the chaos in your life because it's a growth system and a cleansing system and this is where indecision comes to use i use my intuition in all aspects of life as soon as you realize this you will get down to the root chakra within the problem it's cleansing out all the things that you're holding on to, right? And you'll become very aware within your intuition, within your third eye of what is going on. Then you will feel more grateful for this situation because when it's all over, there is going to be this grateful feeling. You're going to say, wow, you know what? Because if I didn't go through this tower, if I didn't go through this cleansing and this chaos, I wouldn't be where I am today. Think about it. If you're going through a really bad time, I don't like using this example much, but I'm going to use it because it's the only thing I think of at this time. If you're going through a really horrible relationship, okay, it's just an example. Your marriage is 
it's like wash. You know what I mean? It's just chaos, right? It's like we can't stay on the same page. It is just like, you know what? And it's cleansing out the soul and getting ready for this divorce. Then all of a sudden, what's going to happen? The new cycle comes through, a new door opens, right? Because after loss comes something new. So you can say, okay, so I'm healing from this divorce. I'm healing from this. But when this new soulmate comes in, you're going to feel so grateful for the situation. Because you say, wow, I would have never have met this person. This, this person who just loves and adores me. And I've never been treated like this before, ever. But I would never have been able to do that if I didn't go through this chaos, through this divorce, through this. You see what I'm saying? So as, as it's washing out and cleansing all of this stuff, it's getting ready to open up this new cycle, this new door. Right? Because after loss... It's cleansing this space for something new to come in, right? So you dance the happy dance. When you're feeling down and you're feeling like this is becoming overwhelming, dance to raise the vibrations, open up the third eye, feel the gratitude come through. Say, you know what? I'm going through this chaos because something amazing is happening. Maybe you're going through something horrible at work and you know that it's time to, to leave that job or maybe I'm getting fired. But you know what? Maybe they're getting fired because Spirit has something better for you. All of a sudden, this new door opens, and it's like all this chaos and all this crap that's going on around me. Um, all of a sudden, this new door opens, and it's, wow, now I'm making money more than I've ever made money before in my life. I love my job. I love the people I work with, where the other one was just horrifying. It just hurt all the time. It caused me chaos. I couldn't pay my bills. I couldn't do this. But I couldn't feel like I could let go of the job because I don't have a job. But then maybe all of a sudden, the spirit goes in there and says, too bad you're fired. And you're like, oh my God, my whole world is going to crumble. Right? And then you're going to go through all this healing until all of these things come through. Right? But just, just dance at your own rhythm and dance and dance. Right? Because after the chaos comes better things. This is a good time to go on a new adventure. The adventure doesn't have to be that it's, you're going to spend a billion dollars. You're not going on a, you don't have to go on a cruise. You don't have to, you know what I mean? You don't have to make it so expensive. Your adventure could be just a walk in the park. It could be an, an adventure where you're just adventuring. Maybe you're going to take the kids, take the kids with you. Look for gnomes and fairies. I used to do that my kids. Use the imagination. It actually brings in this new found um, joy. Especially with kids, because kids always make things fun, you know. So, you know, look for UFOs or fairies or fairy circles or, you know, play with the kids. always felt that playing with the kids was always the best thing for me. Um, but if you don't have any kids, just take a walk. Go on a little adventure through the forest or in your backyard, <laughs> you know. I mean, sometimes even in your backyard, you'd be like, you know what, I think today I'm going to look for ladybugs. i seen a ladybug, and I know there's ladybugs everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Just make it, you know, an adventure. And if you know that there's really nowhere to go, make it an adventure in your mind. Your mind has a great imagination. You have great creativity, right? Just do something that enlightens yourself. And if you can't do any of those things, just dance, sing, be happy, right? Turn on the music, listen to what you need, however it is. That's why I always pick two, though, because some people just don't do those things. And there's some people who just like, I don't really sing, you know what I mean? Or I don't dance, you know. Um, so, yeah, then you maybe you could go on the adventure, right? Everybody's a little different. Find what it is that makes you happy. That's all really matters. Find something to raise the vibration that makes you feel grateful. Maybe you want to go out in the backyard and just say, you know what? I'm grateful for these, these roses right now. They're so beautiful. Sunflowers are really beautiful right now. Right? Look at the night sky, stargaze, whatever it is. Okay, guys. Let's see what's going on. Raising the vibrations. Ooh. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, because you're going to have to clear some boundaries in some ways. And there's some communication and clear-mindedness going on within this situation. But it is also a place where you're going to make yourself more independent when it comes to the situation as you're cutting through all the things. And you're realizing through the soul healing that you are becoming more clear-minded about what it is you want and having direct communication with what it is you truly want. 
within yourself. Remember, it doesn't have to be with everybody else. It's chakras. We want to talk to our higher self. We want to talk to the universe. We want to talk to our, you know, to who we are. Who are you? Talk to yourself. We all do anyways. It doesn't have to be out loud. You know, you don't have to have the neighbors like, well, I think the neighbor lost his mind. No, it's, you know, just in the mirror, you know, thinking in your bed, you know, because you're going to be thinking anyways. So no matter what it is, it's between you and your higher self, your universe, the divine, whoever, right? It doesn't have to be with people. If you need to use that with people, let's say that you're with, you know, some Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, and they need to have this direct communication coming from you, then make sure to open the mouth, use the throat chakra to get out what it is that you truly need to help the cleansing, right? It could be two in one. Yep, judgment. And that's crazy because this is also talking about judgment here, unbiased judgment. And maybe you need unbiased judgment of yourself. Um, because a lot of times the judgment card is saying, I need to push, push the finger back at myself and say, what was it? What is it that I did? Right? So judgment is all, not always about pointing the finger at someone else. It's actually going to push it back at yourself and say, right, I use my intuition in all aspects of indecision. So when you're in indecision, the judgment is saying, you need to look at yourself and look at yourself and look clear within yourself to see what's going on and make sure that you're using that gratitude toward yourself. And also make sure that you're using gratitude toward, too, toward yourself. Yeah, let's make sure that we say that as well. Because we can be grateful for our home. Thank you, universe, for my house, for my food, for my loved ones. Um, thank you for these friends, you know, all these things. But then you also have to be grateful, you see what I'm saying, to yourself. So this is where, like, self-affirmation comes in. Remember, I love myself. I am worthy, right? Being grateful for, thank you. Thank you. I am creative. Thank you. I am beautiful. Not only on the outside, but in the inside. Or maybe not just in the inside, but in the outside. However, right? So sometimes we want to point that finger and make sure that we're not being overcritical towards ourselves when it comes to gratitude. You know what? I am a good cook. They may have fired me and told me I wasn't a good cook, but I am a good cook. Right? So, not always, but sometimes we need to see what's going on within self. So that way we can heal ourselves. The Queen of Pentacles having the tools within. Dancing so that you remember who you are, being practical about yourself and nurturing yourself. I can, I, I, I'm telling you right now, guys, most of the time the readings come out this way because we nurture more people than we nurture ourselves. We give so much we're bad receivers. Or we give so much we, for, you know, we, forget, to, we forget ourselves. You know, parents are really bad at this. And I was looking at that from the Queen of Pentacles. You know, you are a great working parent, right? But the problem is, is I give everything to the kids, to the family, but I don't do anything for myself. Make sure you're giving back to yourself as well. <clears throat> you are important. And that's another thing to use with the judgment is make sure that you point back at yourself and say, I am important. Oh, thank you, Spirit. That one, yeah, that one really came out strong. Okay, so, yeah, this is going to bring forward the good adventure because you are going through a tower. Right, you are going through this cleansing, this chaos, this overwhelming. This is for personal transformation. Personal transformation. Guys, this does not, when we say personal transformation, when it's upside down, that means it's affecting you. It's for your transformation. It's not just chaos with everybody else around you. It's for yourself. It's because maybe you had fear of change. And as you are going through this chaotic piece within yourself of this cleansing and all this soul healing and all this stuff, it does get scary. Because you're saying, what is really going on within me? I really don't want this kind of change, right? I didn't want to get fired from my job. I didn't want this fight with them. I didn't want, you know what I'm saying? And even though it was one of those things where it's like, the universe is like, that's too bad. I'm going to shoot this down because all you've been doing is delaying the situation. You know, you don't even like your job, but you're like scared to change because you're afraid that you're not going to get another job, right? Or I'm afraid of leaving this relationship because of the kids or um, even though it's not serving me well, right? Maybe they don't treat me well. 
but I'm doing it because of the children or I'm doing, you see what I'm saying? Excuses. Excuses to why we don't do things because of, um, it's kind of your own codependency in its own way. Um, and the reason is because of the fear of change of what if it make it worse? Hmm? What if it makes it worse? But then the spirit comes in and says, that's too bad. I'm going to knock this tower down. You have a new foundation. It's time. And even though it makes you restless and you know that this needs to collapse and you know, but you've been holding on so tight to the situation, trying to hold on to it as long as possible, right? You're delaying the inevitable. So then the spirit says, lightning strike, here it comes, right? So, and this is for your own well-being, right? So what you want to do is say, okay, well, in the end, what you're going to feel in the end, when this is all over and you're done cleansing and the new doors open, boy, that gratitude is going to even be way better than what you think now. So right now they just want you to be grateful that things are happening the way they're happening. Um, because it's for your own good and it's your own betterment. But I'm telling you in the end, when you really see what I'm, what I'm talking about now, you're going to say, wow, you know what? I am grateful that that happened because, boy, I have a wonderful job now. Something I feel like I want to get up and go to work for. So, yeah, then your gratefulness is going to actually be there. I think that but what Spirit's trying to say is in the time of the cleansing, in the time of the chaos, it's hard to find the gratitude, the gratefulness, because we can't see anything past the chaos. And the woe is me. Oh, my God, why is this happening? No. Shh. Assess it. It's an inner calling from the universe. This is a judgment call. This is definitely karmically done for your own good. This is a new phase that's coming in for you. Okay, so your daily healing affirmation cards are do something to improve yourself. Any improvement you make will benefit all of humanity, everybody around you, right? Distinguish the importance of your inner spiritual work from the outer success. Boy, I, we just said that, didn't we? Seeing the difference between, yeah, we just, we just literally just talked about that. Take time to acknowledge the subtle changes in your spiritual evolution as it's going on as well. Because you are going through a spiritual evolution, aren't you? Because you are cleansing out what no longer serves you so that you can grow, so that you can bring new beautiful things to you. It actually is a beautiful reading. I know that the chaos and all of that, it always sounds like, oh my God, the reading is so negative. But without negative in some ways, guys, because remember, there's no order without chaos. It has to have the chaos to bring everything down so that we can have everything new. It's kind of like those things people say, why do we keep losing people? Yeah, but if you notice, most of the times, most of the time, and I'm going to say 99.9% .9 of the time, and this is, you know, not a joke because I read this. One door opens, one door closes for another to open. You lose someone, someone new comes in, whether it's a friend or a love. You know, maybe you lose a, a loved one, but a new friend comes in. You might not get that love, you know, you might not get a new lover, but you've got a new friend. You see what I'm saying? However, it's going to work for you. And it could be that you're not getting a new lover because you need a, a lot of healing to do first, but we can bring in this new friend. This has actually happened to me quite a few of times. I lost my best friend to cancer, and a, a friend that I hadn't seen in 15 years ended up coming in a month before he died. That was really crazy. That was really crazy because it was literally a month. So you knew that door was closing. We knew he was dying, and then, boom, here he comes. So, And it was a good thing, too, because it gave me that time um, to speak with him about situations and all that stuff, right, and it helped me heal. So... I mean, sometimes it's the door's almost closed, and here they come. You see what I'm saying? Okay, guys. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.